Hello Pisces, it's your girl Blue Phoenix and we are back with another reading today. I hope that this reading finds you well, my loves. And if you're not feeling well, it's my intentions that you will be by the end of the reading. So come on in y'all. We're just going to get a quick little little message real quick quick little energy check in okay i want to see what energies are surrounding you currently and what energies will be in the very near future okay so holy spirit messages for pisces please current energy is surrounding them right now i heard current energy is supporting you right now okay all right <laughs> come through ancestors okay come through spirit guides all right Ashe. all right so we have the dream of co-creation this is nice it says manifestation divine partnership and frequency alignment that is definite Ooh. It's something about not being scared, though, okay? Because you got the consequence of fear. All right, so don't let, don't talk yourself out of something, okay? Because something is aligning for you or is in alignment, which will assist in um, your manifesting, right? You're calling in those things that you desire, right? Bringing heaven on earth, okay? Okay. Mm. I heard as above, so below. All right. So, yeah, this says contraction, the frequency of fear, self-fulfilling prophecy. So, if we're going to fulfill a prophecy ourselves, for ourselves, let it be one that you really want to see you know what i'm saying all right prophesy yourself succeeding no 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 you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's the kind of self-fulfilling prophecy i want you know what i'm saying shit forget all the rest of that self-sabotage and shit right but we we overcoming self-sabotaging let me lock my doors i don't know these folks around here okay mm -hmm. all right but the dream of co-creation let's see Ooh. The death round, no, death reclaims a life. It says natural endings, grief, letting go, the sacred quality of death. Okay, this may not resonate with everyone, but someone could have recently lost a loved one. Okay, with death reclaiming a life. So listen. There's a transformation occurring right now for you, right? I feel as though you are definitely going through some form of transformation. I feel as though your spirit team is definitely sending you many major much support right now to help you overcome any kind of self-limiting, um, self-sabotaging, self-fulfilling prophecies that aren't for your highest timeline and for your highest good. I feel as though your, your spirit team is really sending you support to overcome those things because there is something that you want to see in your life and they want to help you co-create it and bring it in to existence from heaven on earth as it is above so below okay <laughs> so below as above so below all right that just keeps resonating in my head for some reason i don't know all right so we have the dream of co-creation number 26 all right so that breaks down to an eight it's giving me strength that leo energy that believing in yourself that solar plexus okay by the way y'all no, nah, I'll tell y'all in the next video. I ain't gonna tell y'all yet. Okay, we, we'll say that for another time. All right, so the key concepts, the metaphysics of manifestation, partnership with the universe, evidence of frequency alignment, unity between spiritual and material, bringing heaven on earth. I'm telling you, what you manifesting? <laughs> okay, let's see. It says, which within each of us is a spark of infinite intelligence and the blueprint for our purpose. Everything needed for our highest expression is built right into us. Our biggest issue is our disconnection from source with its accompanying amnesia. 
Our job is to wake up and remember who we are, right? Remember your divinity, baby. Partners with spirit, co-creators, not solo manifestors navigating the world while fueled by ego. Y'all, oh, I had a download about spiritual ego today. We might get into it. I don't know. Anyway, we are made of energy and we align our energy according to our attention. What? Where your attention goes, your energy flows. Okay, so make sure your attention are on the things you do want, not the things you do not. All right, it says we are made of energy and we align our energy according to our attention, which is broadcast into the field of abundance and reflected back in the outer world as evidence. But I'll always tell you, right, your outside world is a reflection of your inside world. You understand me? Okay, it says right now you have an opportunity to align yourself fully with the essence of your greatest, most fulfilling vision for your life. You are awake. So place your attention on the concept of abundance. Okay. <laughs> Multiply this in your heart and soul and mind. Okay. Feel it. Be it. And soon you will notice more and more evidence of this truth. This is so in alignment, alignment with the meditation I did this morning. What you dream about and focus on will multiply. Now is the time to discipline your mind, claim the best, and surrender the rest. Oh, I like that shit. I claim the best and surrender the rest. Let me get that in the comments, okay? I claim the best and surrender the rest, okay? And dream the world you love into being, right? The, dream, the world you love, dream that into being. Do not invest, not an iota of energy into the shit you do not want to see in your life. Period, right? All right, it says, just keep dreaming and moving forward. Destiny is yours to claim. Come through, come through. All right, a mentor could be coming in for you. All right, because we got mentorship fulfillment right there. And you see what that say, don't it? Okay. Happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's a mantra, y'all. That's a chant right there. You could chant that all day. You can put that hole down in the comment section, okay? I am happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, okay? I am healthy, happy. What is it? Wait, happy, healthy, wealthy, wise. Repeat that shit. Put it on repeat. I'm telling you, it helps. It helps, y'all. Okay? So we're just going to keep out the dream of co-creation and then the consequence of fear right we're not allowing fear to overcome all right fear, the consequence of fear is number 20 all right the dream of co-creation was 26 so any of those numbers could be significant all right the 20th the 26th all right all right holy spirit what energies Ooh. some sort of resolution is coming in for you too. a way out of the weeds and grace within chaos the emergence of hope something is coming in to give you hope it's, it's giving me like confirmation okay so expect some form of confirmation or ease or flow to come in excuse me i'm gonna take that as confirmation excuse me oh but uh some sort of flow or ease to come in and this is going to be like that pat on the back almost. Like that doing good, junior type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big ups from your folks, okay? Real talk. Something's going to come in and it's going to confirm to you that you are taking the right steps. Because it's going to be supported, okay? All right. I heard somebody, Okay. What's the Baron's name, though? The Baron. Okay, he could be significant. Oh, my gosh. What's his name? Is it Baron somebody? I don't... Mm, anyway, the Baron could be significant. All right. New Orleans could be significant. The Alchemy of Poison. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Transformational lessons. Reclaiming personal choice radical forgiveness interesting this is very much giving me blending into or like integration thank you spirit okay something about integration here 
there's also something about a belonging okay on the bottom of the deck you have serenity out of exhale what are you going to this looks like a major transformation um pisces look out of exile have you felt like you've been exiled that feels like very much that's beyond hermit mode that's like ain't nobody i'm the last man on this earth <laughs> type of shit the exile that's like nobody's around you could have been feeling that way in a certain area of your life okay but this is very much giving me release and reclaiming authority and power <laughs> you understand me i heard place reclaiming your place okay okay all right i want to read this hold on the alchemy of poison y'all tools are very significant the 22nd could be significant january the 22nd could all right but you got the 26th the 20th the 22nd and then the number one all right the alchemy of poison it says um transformational lessons vulnerability to build inner strength that number eight from earlier right that strength reclaiming personal choice and then radical forgiveness this is giving me someone who is reclaiming their voice as well is what i heard this is giving y'all our readings have really been building upon each other real talk but this is giving me those boundaries right um this is giving me very much not even demanding respect but like out of your mouth but at the same time demanding respect with your i don't know how to explain that <laughs> real talk but it's giving me like not being scared to stand up for yourself to say when something makes you uncomfortable to let someone know your needs to not expect people to just know you know what i'm saying <sighs> standing your ground I heard stating your worth, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so it says the word alchemy describes how a common substance can be magically transmuted into something valuable, right? Like temperance, right? That temperance card is all of like alchemy. It says the poison dart frog, for instance, is not inherently toxic. Instead, its body takes what it eats and turns it into a poison that is lethal to others, but a powerful protection for itself. However, if the frog is fed a different diet, one not from its native environment, then it's not toxic at all. There's no doubt that our childhood traumas shape who we are as adults. Our initial hurts and betrayals are an emotional poison from which we evolve. Our past pain alchemizes into different personality traits that we express. Some wonderful and healthy, others toxic and self-sabotaging. Y'all, oh my God, spur. <laughs> Look y'all, I don't know about y'all spur been showing me my toxic ways in this season. Lord Jesus. Okay, God. Okay. Right now, you're being asked to focus on how you've changed after all you've endured. You've moved beyond the difficulties, found your strengths, and courageously expressed them in the world. Reminding yourself of how far you've come in the is wait is the new emotional food you need to keep nourishing your, um, yourself with. That's interesting because a few, probably about a week ago, that message came up in one of our readings to eulogize yourself, not as though you're about to die, but in a way to where you actually have a timeline of all the things you've been through in this life. Not necessarily the, the, the titles or the degrees or any, no, the things you've overcome the disparities right the um injustices right the i don't whatever <laughs> any kind of barriers you've overcome in life right it's like taking account of all the things all the strength you've had to muster up and get through um to get to the other side of whatever challenges you faced in life right all right so it's i feel like that's very key for us right now is to give ourselves credit and big ups for what we have gotten through right because and that's grace as well giving ourselves grace right because we have to think about the way we treat ourselves right come on how you treat other, if, if you don't treat yourself like if you treat yourself like shit, how you think you treat other people 
You know what I'm saying? That's a big realization that I spirit led me to recently about myself. Like, damn, you just judging yourself so fucking harsh. Show yourself grace. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we forget that. And we will show other people grace so we think we are whatever, but show yourself grace. <laughs> right? Be easy with yourself. All right? Big up yourself. You've gotten through a lot. Look how far you've come. Right? Take a moment today to really just think about it. Okay? All right? So it says, if you take a moment to observe your journey, you'll discover that the alcohol alchemical magic you've been looking for has been inside you all along step forward knowing you have the strength and hard-won wisdom to meet any challenge and succeed i like that shit okay the alchemy of poison that's like literally turning that poison into purpose right that pain into profits you understand me okay yes but we making sure that we checking ourselves. We're not allowing fears, right? Worries, things like that to overcome our mind, right? To be in the forefront, right? We don't ever, we, we ain't say I'm scared or anything. No, oh, fear has shown itself. Fear is here, right? I'm not tired or nothing. Don't claim that. You could just say it's showing up. You get what I'm saying, right? Because you're not fear. You're not scared. It's just, it's showing up. You get what I'm saying? No, you are blah, 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 right? I am strong. I am whatever. Good shit that you want to see manifest in your life. Speak life over yourself. Our words cast spells. Real talk. <laughs> Black magic, <laughs> okay? You be casting it over your own damn self and don't even be realizing it, okay? So just realize your words are powerful, okay? And you are divine, okay? You're a co-creator in this universe. Okay. So what your ass creating today, Pisces? Hmm. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you feeling like. Let's get uh, some tarot real quick and we're going to wrap it up. All right. It was just a quick little check-in. I love this. New perspective. I love it. Right? This is growth. This is enlightenment. Okay. Another Pisces could be significant. You're on a learning journey. You're on a learning journey. That's what I just heard. And you're nurturing yourself as well. Yes, you're being gentle with yourself. This is what I like. Show me Pisces energy, current energy, please. Okay, all right. Hold, look at him. Somebody is going through a, um, a elevation, an upgrade in their consciousness is what it's giving me like spiritual awakening but that's not the word i want to use it's like just like with the hang man like it's another level of understanding coming in for you right now pisces you got 99 here nine is like the number of consciousness you know what i'm saying all right this is nice this your energy i'm not taking it because this fell out too okay so we're not taking none of these but um Yeah, we're going to put it. Ooh, that's a lot of feminine energy. Come through feminine energy, okay? Yeah, it's something about the spiritual ego, though, y'all. It's so funny that it's levels to this shit, right? And spirit, I don't know why spirit told me this this morning because I don't think I've, I mean, chosen ones, right? <laughs> How you go from being in the church and everything all separated then you go into the chosen one that's still separation you know what i'm saying we're all fucking chosen what did it say many are called few answer the call or some shit like that that's what makes you chosen or whatever is if you just answer the call god call everybody though y'all like what come on anyway anyway maybe somebody needed to hear that because that's like spiritual ego i'm chosen you know we're all fucking chosen we're all go like come on we're all parts of god anyway i don't know who needed to hear that but yeah maybe somebody needs their spiritual ego check today because <laughs> i'm like spirit i don't really resonate with that i mean 144 sure we all special in the eye guy okay <laughs> i don't know maybe somebody needs to hear that because it's it's we're all one like that's what this world needs fam like to realize we're all 
from the same fucking source, bruh. All us. Yeah, anyway. What's Pisces? Energy, Holy Spirit. It's something here about the Lion King, too, could be uh, significant, okay? And also the company that you keep. I was watching some about the Bhava, Bhagavad Gita, I think it is, earlier today. And he was explaining one of the stories, and he explained it kind of like the Lion King. And I said, oh, my God, that makes so much sense to, like, Timon and Pumbaa. Right, okay, the Lion King. He's a fucking king. He is the heir, right, to a kingdom. Come on, Pisces, okay, right? He's the heir. But because of what something that happened, he ran off. He got scared, right? He consequence of fear. And what he did, he went and found a, a, a new little family, right? And Timon and Pumbaa welcomed him. They loved him, right? But Timon and Pumbaa was not royalty. You understand what I'm telling you? They did not understand that life, right? And while they did not mean harm to Simba, Simba kind of adopted their character traits and things like he was no longer royalty in his mind he was whatever timon and pumbaa were right and i say all of this to say just be careful not necessarily just be careful just be aware of the company that you keep and know your divinity right and like i said we're all divine but we really aren't until we know it if that makes sense right just like with the chosen yeah we're up it's if you answer the call you get what i'm saying right so yeah because timon and pumbaa didn't want to hold um simba back per se they didn't want him to leave leave them right but they didn't want him to not succeed either right so sometimes people are in our lives and they hold us back and they're not being facetious is that the word facetious facetious okay they're not doing it in a malicious way right but if we continue to live on that same frequency with them, that's where we'll be. We'll never claim our divinity, right? We'll never step into our position as king, as queen, as ruler over a kingdom. We will continue to allow others. Ooh, 22, 22 on the clock. Sum up with 22, y'all. Okay. All right. But I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Why I'm preaching today? I don't know. Okay. Spur. Okay. Come on. Ace of Pentacles. All right, Holy Spirit. Let me see, because we let's wrap this up. Any last messages for Pisces? Any last messages for Pisces, Holy Spirit? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, God. God, I thank you. Okay. Come on. You got the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck. This is clarity. This is direction. This is truth. This is knowing where to go, how to get there, and what time your ass need to be there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> and let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Oh, my God. Listen. These are readings, y'all. Don't. It, it's going to be damn fair about it. But sometimes it could take a month for these readings to manifest in your life. A week. Two weeks. It's going to be damn fair about it. But let me tell y'all. Remember them readings we've been having? that um you're gonna wind up in the right place at the right time to re meet the right people y'all that shit happened to me yesterday i'm telling you follow your intuition my ninja i'm telling you follow your intuition because a lot of us is taking us to our soul fucking family to soulmates to people who are who incarnated in this lifetime with us to we helping each other Right? They're not just helping you. You're not just helping them. No, this is equal reciprocity. Y'all are helping each other. I'm telling you. Y'all, when I met, I met two people yesterday in two totally different places now. And when I tell y'all this shit, this shit literally shifted my fucking, I jumped timelines, timelines yesterday by being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right people. And it was all set up by God. I'm telling you trust your intuition right anytime we ask god for anything the answer is always yes and amen my ninja right that's why you always supposed to focus on what you do want right the universe god same difference okay right when you talk into god the universe whatever right focus on the things you do want not on the things you do not because the answer is yes and amen 
So if you're sitting there like, oh my God, I'm never going to have any friends in my life. Oh my God, my job is this and I have a toxic work environment and my ex is blowing up my phone. And da-da. Guess what? All that shit going to keep happening to your ass because that's what your focus is. Even though that is what's going on around you, shift your fucking perspective, my ninja. It's got to be something good for you to focus on. Even if that shit, if you just, shit, fuck it. Let me just go find a fucking book to read. If you can't find nothing in your real world to focus on that's good, go find something to focus on. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this shit is aligning for us. You understand what I'm telling you? All right. But you also got the Ace One, Page One. So new beginnings, okay? Rooted in passion. You got clarity, right? You're following your intuition, okay? You are fulfilling. I just heard your heart's desires, okay? This is beautiful, Pisces, right? This is innocent. This is trying new things. This is going new places. This is having fun. You understand me? This is knowing you're protected as well with the iguanas all on his uh, little, whatever he got on, tunic, shirt, whatever that is. Do people still wear tunics? <laughs> is that a thing still? What the fuck is this hat he got on too? What the damn feather? I don't know. Maybe you changing up your wardrobe or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that just stood out. As many times I've seen this dang card. All right. Another Pisces or a Cancer could be significant. All right. It's also something here about your North Node as well. All right. Anything else, Holy Spirit, for Pisces before we go? Any other messages? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm not even fuck with that. I'm not gonna play with it. I'm not. We got the, the King of Swords. There is a lot of clarity here. This is very much giving me administrative as well. So there may be some administrative things you need to do. I don't know. When I think of administrative, I think of like file cabinets and fucking putting paperwork in order or something like that. I don't know. That could be significant for someone. Um, but it's definitely giving me organized and um, uh, clarity. Excuse me. Okay, hold on. Y'all, there's so many cards that they are. It's a whole damn novel. Oh, shit. For somebody here, while you not paying no attention, something is somebody watching that ass. Somebody, oh, are you doing this? Y'all, you got the, the Knight of Cups, the lovers, the Nine of cups the page of swords the judgment the nine of pentacles the sun and the fucking eight of pentacles while your ass is working or even studying for some of y'all or getting some sort of knowledge or enlightenment regarding some sort of work or something you want to work on when your attention is not even it's something about not paying attention to something and something's gonna pop up in your life just like that continue to focus on the things you do want not obsess over them not cling to it no we practice the law of detachment around this whole right so we know once we made our request we ain't got to keep on telling god like oh god when you gonna bring it in for me oh my god where your faith <laughs> you know what I'm where your trust ta, ta, ta. where's your detached from the outcome right and focus on something else other good shit right oh look at the, the sky thank you god you know what i'm saying for the sun today <laughs> Okay, thank you for the tires on my car. You know what I'm saying? Like, gratitude always increases the flow of abundance. And while that ass is being grateful, something about to come in. I'm telling you, look. Again, 99 is very significant. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. That's a lot of good cars. I'm glad I picked them up. Anyway, I love you, Pisces. Don't forget to like the video. Oh, yeah. And if you guys um, haven't already jumped on the special with Keen, they are offering five minutes for one dollar. You, where you gonna get? Where you, where you gonna get that at? Anyway, no else. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> if you need a reading, especially the same day, you can look down below and check out Keen. Um, or you can get a reading from me. All readings are returned within three to five days. Right now, readings are $66. So, if you need one, get you one, boo. Or you could get that uh, five-minute little phone call with, with King for a dollar. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so goofy today. 
I don't know. I'm enjoying it, though. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see y'all down there in the comments in the next video or over on our second channel, Blue Phoenix, the Golden Goddess, where we do readings for whatever you get old gold and request for, okay? <laughs> All right, but usually it's collective readings, um, and we will have one today, so make sure y'all show up with your face in the plays. You understand me? I love you so much, Pisces, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, my loves.